Hello everybody, I'm Susie with the Frazzle Flamingo and today we're going to use our leopard kit. Um, we're going to do a glittered leopard cup and we're going to be using our leopard kit. And um, we have prepped our cup. If you do not already know how to prep a cup, stop the video, go down below to our other videos and look up how to prep a cup and then come back and you'll be right where we are and this is a prep cup i have painted it in a tan uh, color to kind of match my glitter next thing we're going to need is we're going to need some mod podge now i use this i use the mat but i also um i use the e6000 as well um, I just take just a little bit of E6000 and mix it in with my Mod Podge. It seems to um, water it down just a little bit, make it a little smoother, and not dry as quickly. So I have that. I've put it in a separate container so I don't contaminate my larger one. You're going to need some popsicle sticks to stir it, and I've already done that. Then you're going to need a brush to apply your uh, Mod Podge on. You will also need smaller brushes once we get to more of the detail. Okay, and then we are going to, let me see if this is going to help any. I don't know if that helps you see a little better. Maybe it does. Okay, and so um, then you're going to need your glitter. And we have a leopard kit on in our store at www thefrazzleflamingo.com. You can go under Ultra Flying Glitters and find your kits, or you can just type in the search bar Leopard Kit. And in the Leopard Kit, we have Dark Knight, we have uh, Sandlot, and we have Chewbacca. I don't know if you see it better this way or the other, but these are the ones we're going to use. I already have mine put in shaker bottles, and we do also have them on our site as well. But we're going to use our shaker bottles. And um, we have, like I said, Chewbacca, Dark Knight, and Sandlot. And Sandlot's going to be our bit main color. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that. We're going to get our Mod Podge on. We're going to open our, our Sandlot up. Set it aside over here. Move these little brushes. And what we're going to start with um, is we're going to start with just applying the Mod Podge on. We're just going to get it applied on, put it on a little thick right now. Right now our biggest concern is just getting it on. And then what we'll, we will do is we'll smooth it out. Right now I just want to make sure we get it completely covered in our Mod Podge. Um, it does dry faster. Um, some people do half. They do half of the cup and then they go and do the other half because it dries. Um, we can do that. So I just find if I put it on, do a quick, a quick good coat and I go around it real quick, I can smooth it out and then come back to it. If I need to add a little more, I can. So, there we go. You see how it's going on pretty good. We do want to try and smooth out the lines. If you don't, the lines will, they can show through. But we are going to be doing two coats of our main color. So let me get this spread on, make sure it's still wet, and make sure you get all your creases, all your up top, make sure you get all that real good. Go around all them edges, and now we are going to sprinkle on, we're going to move this out of our way and move these and we're going to just we're going to now cover we're going to cover our cup make sure you get the butt don't forget the butt 
but we're going to cover our cup, try and do it as quickly as possible, get it, get it on there before it dries. We do have parchment paper down. I forgot to tell you, if you put parchment paper down, put a crease in it and um, put a crease in it and then you can always pick up those bits. We're not wasting no glitter. Glitter is precious. All right, and there we have. We have it right there. We make sure we have it covered pretty good. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for a second. I'm going to put it on my little Dollar Tree drying rack because I'm going to gather this up and we're going to put it back in the container. And then we are going to do a second coat. We're going to let that sit a minute while we gather everything up. We're going to put this in our container. And when I'm doing the Mod Podge, I just like to kind of keep this here because I don't want to contaminate my uh, parchment paper. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put on a second coat. So let me get this off of my dry rack. And we're going to put on a second coat. So we're going to paint it on just like we did. And... Um, I think, hold on, I think I want to pour this in a separate container because I do keep this for my first batches. Sorry. Let me pour a little bit in this container here. That way I do not contaminate that container. All right, here we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit and dry. I want it to dry, I'd say um, on the safe spot, I would want it I want it to dry for about an hour. So I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna let it dry for an hour. Okay everybody, it's not fully dry, but it, I think it's dry enough for us to continue. One thing I do wanna do is I just wanna do a little smushing. I'm just gonna go along and just smush with a piece of, I just have a piece of plastic. I'm just gonna go lightly and press down. I'm gonna press my glitter down. We're just gonna do some light smushing. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna press that glitter down before we continue. You can hear it kind of crunch when you do this. You don't wanna do it really, you know, Hard. You don't want to rub. You just want to press the glitter down so it lays flatter. It's less filling you have to do with your product. Smush that bottom.
Okay, there you go. We have smushed it down. Now we're going to need our next size brush. Whoops, that was not almost good. Let me set this on our drying rack real quick because I want to put a little extra. We're going to get our next size brush and we're going to start doing our um, leopard prints. But I'm going to pour a little bit more into our container. There we go. And we're going to start with our dark nights. We're going to start with the out the outer lines. We're going to start with the black. We're going to go to the dark nights and let me get all this glitter off here so we don't contaminate our other glitter since we smushed. All right. There we go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our other brush and we're going to start doing with our um, dark nights, our black. We are going to start putting in our um, little our little shapes. So you can use either one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be a fancy brush. Just needs to be a brush. And then we're going to just start with our shapes. We're going to start just putting, dotting around our shapes here. And we're going to just, we're just going to put them on there. And we can do some solid black ones. And then do our, do our little shapes. We can do like this. And we can do a V shape. Do a little, just a little dots. You can see. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to do those over those lines there. And the one thing you can do, you will see that it's on there. You just take it and you blow it. Just blow it. Just blow it off and those little bits, see, will blow off. Isn't that great? And we're just going to keep doing that. We're going to go around and we're going to just keep putting in our shapes. Okay, we've completed that, and now we're going to switch it up. And know that, see, all those little bits are gone. You just have to blow on them. I'm going to put that on the drying rack, and let's clean this up. Get all this so we don't contaminate our next color. We don't want to contaminate our next color. So, the next one we're going to do the center part of our spots and we're going to do that. And we're going to be using Chewbacca for that one. So, so far we've done the sand, uh, sand lots for the base and then we use Dark Knight to do our darks, darken our spots. And now we're going to do Chewbacca. These are 
these all three of these are in our leopard kit on the frazzle flamingo store all right now let's we will start doing the center here let's move this over all right let me wipe my brush just a little get contaminants off i think we got enough in our little cup maybe to complete this oh you know what we did not do oh my goodness hold on we didn't do the bottom we did not do the bottom and we have to do i keep telling don't forget the button and what is the first thing i did i forgot the button so let's go ahead and get the, i need to put some spots on the butt We can move on to the next one. I think I need to put just a little bit, um, just a little bit in here. We'll put a little extra. That's good. Just a little. Okay. We put a little extra in there. We're going to move that out of our way. Now we're ready for Chewbacca. Let's get Chewbacca up and going. Let's go ahead and get our cup. It is easier if you were to put it on a, uh, have your handle. Um, a lot of people find that easier, and it is if you're, um, but I'm doing a tutorial. But see how good that looks? That's gorgeous. It's that simple. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason. It does not have to be perfect. Um, now we're going to fill in, we're going to fill in. Now we're just going to, and it doesn't matter if it touches on the other, it, it doesn't matter at all, but we're going to fill in these spots to put our darker spots in there. So we're just going to, now we're just painting the glue in there and we're going to go, um, that's all you're doing. You see it? I'm going to do one more and then I'll, I'll put some of that in there. We'll see how beautiful that's going to look. Okay. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. What a great... What a great pairing that is. Look at that. So we're going to continue to go all the way around this, just like we just did, and we're going to fill them in. Okay? Okay, I think we have it. I think we did it. I'm trying to check now if I've missed any spots. And but I think we did it. We now have our leopard print. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to let that Mod Podge dry um, really, really good. And then we will spray seal it with um, with the rust. Either you can spray seal it with the Rust Oleum 2X clear sealer or you can also spray seal it with the E6000 whatever your choice is so we're going to let the Mod Podge dry and then we're going to seal it with um, with the sealer we'll let that dry and gas off and so then we'll be back when we're ready to put our code our coat of bright tones on it Okay, hello everybody. We have let our cup dry overnight. And the only thing, let me take it off its rack. If you want any good drying racks, these are at the Dollar Tree. They're paper towel holders and they hold a cup really well. And they're just a dollar. Okay, so all I did was, we, it's dry, it's nice and hard. I, um, nothing's moving. 
So I removed the electrical tape off my cup and I'm gonna just clean up real quick any sticky residue from the electrical tape. Sometimes it gets inside, there's a little, little bit inside. I don't know if you can see that, it's right there. Probably not. And we're gonna just let me lay it on here. We don't wanna scratch anything. Little alcohol takes it off, gets all the black, the black off, all those sticky residue off. I do this um, now so I don't have to worry about it or forget about it later. I go along all my edges here just to get all that stickiness off there and clean up my edges. I will be putting next. I'll be putting painters tape on. All right, let that dry for a second. We'll move this aside. All right, now we're gonna, we need painter's tape. And I just take the painter's tape and I'm gonna move that a little more out of my way. And what I'm gonna do is I leave a little bit, just a hair, just a hair, um, because I want to form, I want to make sure we have a seal that comes up over my glitter. Some people go all the way up to the edge with their product, with their stuff, um, with their glitters and everything. Um, I just chose not to. I like that it has a clean edge um, with no product on it. And so you're just going to go around and you're just going to leave just a hair I don't know if you can see that. It's just, it's ever so slightly. Um, this way it will come up over your glitter and it will leave, it'll see, you'll have a seal. And just keep going around your cup. Now we're gonna get started with our extreme protection. You can start right away with um, bright tones um, and do bright tones all the way. I, um, I do extreme protection for my first four or five coats and then I, I start using bright tone. And the only reason for that is it's a filler and it's a little less expensive than the bright tone so it saves me on cost, on my product cost, uh, just a little bit. So. That's why I use it. And this is what I'm using. Whoops. We are using the Extreme Protection um, Gloss. And I put them in condiment bottles so it makes my life a lot easier. We're going to start with a flood coat. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put this on my turner. Put it all the way up. Make sure it's on there good. It, ain't, it is not going to go anywhere. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the extreme protection. I'm going to turn on my machine. <clears throat> Let's move this so you can see a little better. There we go. Okay, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, a glove finger. And I do this until I get to a point where I would use my brush. Okay, so here we go. And a flood coat is just putting more on than what you would um, otherwise. And we're going to just work this in. We're going to let this spin around and we're going to work this in. Um, the glitter will soak up your product. Okay, and I'm just going to do this. I'm going to let this spin. And then when it dries, I will put another coat on, another flood coat, and I will do this probably four times. And when I get to the next stage, I will be back. Don't know what just happened. The glitter will soak up your product. All right.
right, and we're going to make sure we go all along these edges. We're going to push it down. We're going to get the bottom, the butt of the cup. We're going to make sure every bit is covered. So we did miss some spots. We want all our glitter just coated. And we're going to get all along these edges up here. We're going to bring it down. We're going to go over those edges there. And this to me is a flood coat. I don't know about anybody else, but this is a flood coat. It's more than what you would normally put on. And we're going to coat it really good along all our edges. We're going to make sure our glitter is every inch has product on it. And this will self level and it will soak it in. You don't need to rub hard. You just need to make sure your edges are done where you need it to form a seal. And that's it. And you're going to let this turn. It's going to turn for about 40 minutes till it's dry to the touch. And then you're going to move it to your drying rack and you're going to let it dry for an additional four hours. And then you're going to put another flood coat on. Well, the flood coat, actually, I let it dry an additional, I let it dry five to six hours and then I'll put a coat on. Um, or you can let it dry overnight. It's really good. Okay, y'all, we are back. We have uh, glittered this with our leopard kit and we have sealed it and then we put our extreme protection on and it's at the point where it's still rough but it's at the point where it's filled it enough where we're going to do a light sanding and then we're going to put our bright tones on it and this is the bright tones right here this is bright tones the glossy the clear gloss so uh this is what we're going to use next and we're going to continue this until this is smooth so this is what we'll move to next and i'm going to put my mask on because i'm because i'm going to dust so let's put that on i do a wet dusting so let me move these out of the way just a little bit okay and what i'm going to do is i have my 400 grit sandpaper and I have my spray bottle and we're just going to spray it. I'm going to run that water over and we're going to lightly, no pressure. We're just going to, I know it sounds like I'm putting pressure, but I'm not. Just lightly going over. We don't want to scuff the glitter. Okay, that's good, and, and don't forget to do the butt. Around those edges, and that's it. You don't wanna do too much. We're just trying to slowly knock this down, um, knock down the, the lumps, and then till we get it to a smooth, a smoothness. If you feel one that's maybe up a little bit, um, then you can knock it down a little more. But we, we do not want to scuff the paint, so we're going to do this in a slower process. We're going to spray it and wipe off all that, any of that dust that's on there. I'm going to wipe it off really good. And then we're going to let it dry for a second. We're going to put it on our turner. All right. Let me wipe off my mat, take off my, my mask. Okay, and now we're going to start with the bright tones. Like I said, it's this. The bright tone, we're going to start with it, and we're going to start with a clear gloss. This is what gives it that finished, very glossy, shiny look in the end. Okay, so now we're going to move our turner in, and then we're going to apply this. And all you do after you sand, you let it dry for a second or two. I do put mine in condiment bottles. And now we're going to turn on our turner. Let me move this forward for you. We're going to turn that turner on. And then we're just going to start applying. And we're just going to start applying our bright tones. Just slightly, just smooth it. Don't rub real hard. We're just smoothing on, dripping it on, and we're smoothing that bright tones on. We're just putting some drips on there. 
and you want to cover it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we get that butt covered. And we're going to go all the way around the cup with our bright tones until we reach the other side. Then when we get there, make sure you get the bottom. You're going to put a little on your on your finger and just rub some on the bottom so we're covering those edges. Make sure we're getting around these edges. Okay, and then you're just going to let it be. You're just going to let it turn. It's going to turn for approximately 40 minutes till it is pretty much dry to the touch. And then we're going to put it on our drying rack for an additional four hours. And then every four hours we're going to put a coat on. And we're going to do the same process. And we're going to continue this until it's smooth the way we want it. Every couple, every two, three coats, you're going to do another light sanding when you need it. And you're going to continue with the bright tones until it's done. And we'll be back when we finished our cup. Okay, y'all. Hey, here we are. You know, this is our completed cup. And we have now completed it to the point where it is smooth and good enough to go ahead and put your vinyl on and then once you put your vinyl on you'll go ahead and you'll put uh, enough coats to cover that vinyl really good you can also put a water slide on this if um and then put a few more coats but we are at that point where it is completed and isn't that just beautiful isn't that gorgeous got the bud of it it was gorgeous. I've removed the painter's tape and cleaned up my edges. And we have formed a little tiny seal around that top. And you can do this on your pop sockets. You can do this on your uh, keychain acrylic blanks. Um, so here is our kit. It is, this is our leopard print kit and it has Sandlot in it, Dark Knight, and Chewbacca. And I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope we have inspired you to continue being your wonderfully creative self.